In this lesson, we will cover how to upload or install new firmware into your CE Lite-50. Firmware is the software that runs the CE Lite. When you first receive your cutter, this is the first thing you'll want to check. GraphTech updates the firmware from time to time to add enhancements or to fix issues. To check what firmware you have, turn on your CE Lite by pressing the blue power button on the side. When a brand new CE Lite is first powered up, it will display this screen. Select the preferred language you'd like to use, and then press the check mark. Select the unit of length you prefer to use, and press the check mark. Turn down both of the media latches on each side of the cutter. Once the latches are down, this screen menu appears. Press the next page icon at the bottom of the screen. For now, turn the width detection off. Press the next page button and press the bottom selection for media size. At the top right of this next screen, press the menu icon button, press the advanced button and press the next page button twice. Here it shows the CE Lite's firmware version. If the firmware version is lower than 1.2, it will require an update to your firmware. Go ahead and press the X button. Press it again, then press Unload Media. Press Load Media. Press Next Page. And finally, turn Width Detection back on. The next step is to download the latest CE Lite firmware and upload it to your cutter. Before we start, Take note that uploading software only works with a Windows operating system. The first step is to install the CE Lite's Windows driver, so this has to be downloaded along with the new firmware. Fortunately, they can both be downloaded from the same web location. First, navigate your web browser to GraphTech America's website at www.graphtechamerica.com. Once there, hover your mouse over Support. From the pull-down menu, click Download Drivers and Firmware. On the Drivers Firmware page, click on the Firmware Drivers for Current Models. A list of cutters will appear. At the bottom of this list, select CE Lite 50. In order for everything to work, we need to download the Windows driver first. Click on the GraphTech driver download link, and then save it to a folder of your choosing. In this case, we have saved to our desktop. Double click on the zip file and extract the files. When the file is unzipped, open the folder and open GD Setup. Click Yes. From here, just follow the prompts. Go ahead and click OK to restart your computer. Once your computer restarts, plug in the USB cable into the CE Lite and your computer USB port. This will establish the USB port to your driver. The next step is to download the firmware. Click on the version 1.20. Keep in mind that there may be a later version than 1.20, but that's okay. Go ahead and download the latest version available. Save it to a destination of your choice. In this case, we'll save the zip file to our desktop again. Now unzip and extract the files. Once extracted, open the file folder and click on the send.exe app. First, set the output to the GraphTech CE Lite. On file type, select all files. A list of files should appear, so select the firmware file, which will have an extension of .x. Go ahead and unplug the cutter, and then, while pressing the power button, plug the unit back in. This will put the CE Lite in a mode to receive new firmware. Next, click Print on the app. You'll see different messages across the top indicating that the firmware is being updated. Once it is complete, unplug the cutter and then plug it in again. 
The control panel will display the main menu screen, which indicates that the cutter is ready to start cutting.